Hey, this is Mike with Plus 8 Precision. In this part, we're going to go ahead and cut out the shape of our part on the bandsaw. And um, so that should go pretty quick. We're going to leave the line because we're going to file back to the line. So we don't want to take the line out with the bandsaw blade. All right, okay. Let's get started. Okay, in this part of the video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use files, like this one, half round, this one, medium bastard file, and this one, which is a large rat tail file. Uh, if we're going to use them all, I'm not sure, but quite possibly we could. I'll start off with this small half round, and you can see what I'm doing here is I just want to take material right to the line. This is a decorative project, so dimensions are not critical. So don't stress over the dimensions, just make what you want or what you see in your mind. So this is what I want, and this is what I'm going for. Um, at this point, the dimensions are not critical. So just work till you're satisfied. Oh, this is a very slow, tedious process. Um, give you tips on what I'm doing. You can see I have a second board here, only because I have screws in the top of this piece here that's on top of my cabinet. <clears throat> and um, what you want to do is you want to keep it as close to the edge as possible. You don't want it hanging over here because then you'll bend it as you're filing it. But if you keep it here, you'll have good support while you file and bring it to the line and that's really all that's to it you just work slow and tedious and get it nice and smooth once we get this smooth then we'll change our direction of file so that way it's kind of true as it follows the shape of this but right now all we're trying to do is file to the line and then we'll move on So, I think you got the idea of it. Um, <clears throat> you can see how fast that went. And I'll just continue on and do this. And I'll turn the camera back on when uh, we get to the end and we're ready to move on to the next portion. Mm -hmm. 
Now for truing this up, you just kind of take the file and you just work it along until it takes any of the holes out, which you can clearly see. Um, I think, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you can see on the camera. There's like little holes, like right here. There's a little bit of a hole. And so you just want to file it around the corner, keeping your file as square to the part as possible. And you could put this in a vise if you want. You could hold it this way in a vise, but um, if you've done it enough, you know you can brace the part pretty well in your hand. Um, if the material was more more thick or of a different type, you know, then you might have more difficulties doing that. But you just want to work the whole thing all the way around. So here's another little area. Until it's the radius is true without interruptions or you know areas that may be the corner or edge of your file dug into and that's the point of the tape now you can see because you got you got sanding grit filing grit swarf whatever you want to call it on your piece and if that was uh, if your if your base material was not protected as you're filing and moving this thing you're just scoring the part so when you get to the polishing stage you're just going to have a lot more scratch uh, scratches to get out so protect it now if you order it and it comes with a film on it leave the film on there um, don't take the film off until you're ready to start polishing but this is pretty much ready to go we're about the same stage as these parts and these have already been gone through. The edge is nice. Um, so these are ready for the forming and flanging point of the video. So let me get that set up and I will turn the camera back on.